Okay. Hello, my students out there. It's another beautiful day. And um, today we are having a lesson on speech work. And the topic we have for today is red rhyme. You know, when we talk about um, rhyme, we also have rhyme pattern in literature. So from, at the end of this lesson, you'll be able to differentiate a uh, rhyme pattern in speech work and also rhyme pattern in literature. Because here we are talking about two different things entirely. Okay, at the end of this lesson, anyway, this you, you, you expected to, you know, define word rhyme and explain in details what we mean by word rhyme. Then also you have to classify the word rhymes we have and explain the three classifications. You are also expected to identify the rules of the rhyme pattern in words. Because rhyme pattern is one of those, um, uh, one of those questions you expect to uh, uh, answer in external examination like work in speech, just like we have, um, stress placement. You're also expected to answer questions or rhyme pattern that's under speech work. Then also finally you're expected to write, um, an exercise, do some exercise on the topic. So I want you to pay close attention to the lesson we have so that you'll be able to get the basics of the lesson. Now, what do we mean by word rhyme? Two words are said to rhyme with each other when they have the same final vowel sound or the same final word and consonant sounds. In oral English, words which rhyme with each other are those that have the same combination of sounds in their corresponding syllables, usually at the end of, sorry, usually at the last syllables of the words, or from their last syllables to the second or third to the last syllables of words. And it may involve one or more syllables of the rhyming words. I repeat, two words are said to rhyme with each other when they have the same final vowel sound, uh, this might be sounding strange, but by the time I start giving you some examples, you'll be able to understand what I'm talking about. Or the final, the same final word or consonant sounds. In oral English, words which rhyme with each other are those that have the same combination of sounds in their corresponding syllables. Usually are the last syllables of words or from their last syllables to the second or third to the last syllables of words, and it may involve one or more syllables of the same, of the rhyming words. Now, like I said earlier, we have rhyme scheme or rhyme pattern in literature, and you don't use that pattern in answering questions in rhyme pattern in oral English, because we are not, the, 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 the pattern is not the same. For example, in, 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 in oral English, um, rhyme pattern is more interested in the sounds, like we have, like we said, final vowel sound and consonant. So sometimes it can be between vowel sounds or it can be between vowel, uh, consonant sounds. Sometimes we see them in vowel consonants or consonant vowel sounds. So like I said, we are looking at sounds here and not the rhyming of letters as we have in literature. Now we have some examples here. We have PAMI, that is pa a ma i that is PAMI. Then we can see that PAMI rhymes with BAMI. ba a ma i that is, we have PA, that's consonant sound. We have A, the long vowel sound, and we have ma. That's nasal, consonant sound, and e, that is the short e sound. So we have, can see from these examples that these two examples are two words that pami rhymes with bami. Okay, now we have phase and maze, f a c e and m a c e. So we have the a s and we have ma a s. That is, you, if you look at these two, uh, two words, you can see from their transcription that a s 
and the A in face and maze rhymes. But we have a difference in their consonants. For example, face begins with va, while maze begins with ma. So we have vowel consonant rhyme pattern here. But at the begin at the beginning of these two words, we are seeing two different sounds, va and ma. Another example, the third example we have there is pend and rend. Pend and rend. So we have pa and And we have ru and So we have pen rhyming with rend with different um consonants beginning pa and ru. So we have pami rhymes with bami, face rhyme with maze, and pen rhymes with rend. I hope the um the example is quite clear to you. Now we have classifications of classifications of word rhymes. Classifications of word rhymes. In oral English, word rhymes are classified according to the number of syllables that are involved in the rhyming words. I repeat, in oral English, word rhymes are classified according to the number of syllables that are involved in the rhyming words. They are A, we have single word rhyme, B, we have double word rhyme, and C, we have triple word rhyme. Now, what do we mean by single word rhyme? Okay, single word rhyme simply means a word rhyme that has a syllable. A word rhyme that has a syllable. So we have head rhymes with bed, head, rhymes with bed. So the only difference there is that at the beginning of these two words, we have two different consonant sounds. Okay? But the middle, we have, we have, um, okay, we have the same vowel sounds for the two words. And the last sounds, the last sounds we have in those two words are, are consonants. Okay. So we have pad and mad. Far rhymes with star. Cheer rhymes with there. Cheer rhymes with there. If you look at the transcription, you will see that A, I, R from, sorry, from H, from A, I, R and E, R, E have the same transcription. We have sa and pa. We have fla and fla. We have prowl and growl. And we have lot and boats. Okay, here also, rhyme may occur as a single word rhyme. You can see from the examples that the, the words we have, two words each, two, the two words each rhymes with each other. Okay. Here also, rhyme may occur between a monosyllable, a monosyllable word or a bisyllabic word. What do we mean by monosyllabic word? You should be able, you should know this, that mon monosyllable words are those words that are made up of one syllable. Why bisyllabic words are those words that are made, made up of two syllables? So there could also be rhyme between a, a monosyllabic word and a bisyllabic word. For example, Relax is a bisyllabic word. It is made up of two, uh, it is made up of two syllables. Re and lax. Re and lax. Then, tax is a monosyllabic word because it's made up of one sound. Tax. So you can see that relax and tax have the same rhyme pattern. Lax rhymes with tax. So when you have something like this in an examination, don't say relax is bisyllabic and tax is monosyllabic so they cannot rhyme. No. That is why I, I am, I am emphasizing here that monosyllabic word and a bisyllabic word can rhyme uh, in word rhyme. Then we have cartel and fail. Cartel and fail. When you check your transcription or the dictionary, you discover that in cartel and fail, you have the same transcription from AIL and A-I-L-A fail. So the only difference is that what the first syllable 
in the first syllable we are having a different transcription and fail is is just a monosyllabic word okay so as so many other examples you can discover in um in monosyllabic word rhyming with bisyllabic word now the rhyme occurs in the last syllable of bisyllabic word as you can see in relax so relax and in relax and tax lax which is the last syllable in re in, in in relax rhymes with uh, rhymes with um, tax okay tail curtail and fail tail rhymes with fail okay so you can see that the rhyme occurs in the last syllable of the bisyllabic word now the second one we have is double word rhyme now just as just as the name entails double so that means two so this is a, this is a session where the rhyme involves two syllables in each of the rhyming words this is where the rhyme involves two syllables in each of the rhyming words that means the first word um is bisyllabic and the second one is also bisyllabic so we have Mata rhymes with feta, quata rhymes with water, wanda rhymes with blunder, elected rhymes with abetted, reverse rhymes with rehearse, solely rhymes with holy. Okay, I said, Mata rhymes with fata, quata rhymes with water, wanda rhymes with blunder, elected rhymes with abetted, reverse rehearse, and so many other examples i hope this aspect is quite clear that is double word rhyme two bisyllabic words okay two words with double rhymes the last one we have among the classifications is triple word rhyme now this is where the rhyme involves three syllables and in each of the rhyming words this is where the rhyme involves three syllables in each of the rhyming words. For example, unfortunate and importunate. Unfortunate, unfortunate. That is a polysyllabic word rhyming with another polysyllabic word. However, for example, these two words are made up of four syllables. Okay. They, they are made up of four syllables, but the last three syllables rhymed rhymed so we have fortunate and fortunate the only difference that we have is in the first syllable where we have on and aim in the different words okay the word rhyme roots you know the essence of this rule is to help you identify rhyme pattern in exams like i said it is part of the questions that uh, part of the questions that come out from external examinations like WAEC and the rest of them so for you to be uh, for you to identify word rhyme easily just like stress placements will sometimes we give you rule, rules for stress placements so the first one is the vowel sound in the syllables in which the rhyme occurs in the rhyming words must be of the same sound or quality the vowel sounds in the syllables in which the rhyme occurs in the rhyming words must be of the same quality i gave you an example of, i gave you some examples earlier like rend 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 rhymes with pend pend okay so you can see that they are of the same sound or quality secondly the final vowel or the final vowel and consonant sounds in the syllables in which the rhyme occurs must be the same okay so we have example red and bed red and bed you can see that other and other in red and bed have the same quality as regards to sound while in the second one we have pen and rend you can also see that they are of the same quality so whether they are final vowel or final vowel through consonants okay they must have the same quality three the syllables in which the rhyme occurs in the rhyming words must correspond with each with each other 
the syllables in which the rhyme occurs in the rhyming words must correspond with each other. You can see from the examples that I've given you so far. Then number four, the consonant sounds or sound preceding the vowel sound in the syllables in which the rhyme occurs in the rhyming words may be different in a single rhyme. For example, we have said and paid. Said and paid. You can see that we are having something different in the letter, in the letters. For example, said is S A I D. While paid is P A I D. So don't say because S does not rhyme with P that the answer is not correct. No. We have aid and aid rhyming in both words. Now we have either the in issue or the middle consonant sounds of the syllable, in which the rhyme occurs in the rhyming words, must be different in double and triple rhymes. So we have example. The first one we have unfortunate and, and the importunate. So we can see that the first, the last three syllables in the first example rhymed. Then we have contain and detain. Contain and detain. Okay, we have repent and invent. So that is for um, word rhyme. We have, like I said earlier, that word rhyme has to do with the rhyming of vowel sounds or consonant sounds of, of, of a final vowel or the same final word or consonant sounds in oral English. And I tried, I, I made you understand that in the way you answer questions in rhyme pattern in literature is different from the way you answer rhyme pattern in oral English because oral English is interested in the sounds and not necessarily the letters. We also discussed, I gave you also, I gave you an, ex, I gave you some examples about Bami rhyming with Bami, Bami rhyming with Bami. Phase and maze, then pen and rend. We also talked about the classifications. We said we have three classifications in red rhymes. We have single word rhyme, double word rhyme, and triple word rhyme. Single, in single word rhyme, we have words of one syllable rhyming, rhyming. Okay. And we also said, I also told you that in single word rhyme, that a bisyllabic word can also rhyme with a monosyllabic word. However, in the bisyllabic, only the last syllable rhymes with the word in the monosyllabic word. Then we also talked about double word rhyme, ra double rhyme seen in bisyllabic words. That's where it's made up of two syllables. Then we have, we have triple word rhyme where you have the last the last uh, three syllables rhyming. Okay. We also talked about the roots of rhyme, rhyme. Okay. The, the roots in rhyme pattern in, in a uh, oral English or speech work. So we have about five of them. These roots will help you identify, um, answer questions or root placements. Um, Red, word rhyme, sorry, in oral English. Now we have a very short assignment. From the words lettered A to D, choose the word that rhymes with the given word. The first one is done for you. Example, firm, F-I-R-M. Firm. So we have term, we have tape, we have farm, and we have tame. So the answer is A term because firm rhymes with term so we have um okay so you have to do the rest from one to five we have tour and the options there are four floor sorry four flower pearl and door then we have teach number two we have the options a reach reach b Pitch, C, reach, then D, reach. Then number three, we have about. And we have not, shout, though, 
and plow. For we have seed, seed, sat. Remember the issue of long and short vowel sounds. Okay. So we have seed, sat, heat, and set. Then we have her, her. We have eme. We have sir. We have hat. And then we have herb. So you have to work on this five um, questions. Remember your dictionary is there for your use. You can use your dictionary to work out the answers so you can get good score. Thank you very much for being part of this lesson. I wish you all the best in life. Bye for now. Ba and A, P and Paul.